In this question, we're grappling with uncertainty, and we are given to start that there is a cube that is 10 millimeters on a side, So we've got 10 millimeters on 10 millimeters on a side, and we want to know about the volume and the uncertainty in the volume. Well, there's usually two approaches we can take for all of these. One is we could go about this through the absolute uncertainty, and the other way is we can go through the percent uncertainty. So let's first break this down in terms of the percent uncertainty. Uh, so we want the volume of this cube, and volume is length times width times height. And uh, that's 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000 cubic millimeters. Well, if we're going about this through the percent uncertainty, the U percent is the absolute uncertainty over the mean times 100. And so on this case, one particular side has an absolute uncertainty of 2. The whole thing is 10 times 100, and so that's 20%. So it's 10 millimeters plus or minus 20%. Since we are taking this side and multiplying it three times, that means the percent uncertainty is 20 plus 20 plus 20, or 60%. 60% 60 of 1,000 is 600. So the absolute uncertainty is 600 cubic millimeters. So that's the first way to find that. The second way for us to do this is do it all <clears throat> out and find all the possibilities. We have an average value of the volume, which is going to be 10 cubed, which is 1,000. We have an upper limit of the volume, which is going to be 12 cubed, and we have a lower limit, which is going to be 8 cubed. 8 cubed is 512, and 12 cubed is 1724. And so then the absolute uncertainty is the max minus the min over 2. So that gives us 1724 minus 512 over 2, which works out to be about 1212 over 2, which is 606. So that gives us about 606 cubic millimeters. And so both directions we get the same answer.